What are trapezoids? That's what we'll be going over in today's Wrath of Map lesson. A trapezoid is a special type of quadrilateral. Remember that a quadrilateral is a polygon with four sides. You're probably already familiar with some types of quadrilaterals, like parallelograms, for example, that have two pairs of parallel sides. Or some of the special types of parallelograms, like squares and rectangles. These quadrilaterals, of course, also have two pairs of parallel sides. What makes a trapezoid special is that a trapezoid has only one pair of parallel sides. So instead of having no pairs of parallel sides, like this quadrilateral here, or having two pairs of parallel sides, trapezoids have only one pair of parallel sides. In this trapezoid, for example, these two sides are parallel. Let's go ahead and label the vertices of this trapezoid to help us talk about it. So we see that the side AB of the trapezoid is parallel to the side CD. The pair of parallel sides in a trapezoid are called the bases of the trapezoid. So these two sides are the bases of this trapezoid since they are the parallel sides. The other two sides of a trapezoid, in this case AD and BC, are called the legs of the trapezoid. Now I should mention that some authors will define a trapezoid not to be a quadrilateral with exactly one pair of parallel sides, but instead will define a trapezoid to be a quadrilateral with at least one pair of parallel sides. By this definition of a trapezoid, parallelograms, including squares and rectangles, are just special types of trapezoids. But for this lesson, we're going to use the other definition that says a trapezoid is a quadrilateral with exactly one pair of parallel sides. If you're taking a course in geometry and you've got a textbook, be sure to check the textbook to see what definition it's using. This definition is sometimes called the exclusive definition because it excludes parallelograms, whereas the other definition would be called the inclusive definition because it includes parallelograms that have two pairs of parallel sides as trapezoids. Now let's just continue going over a few more basics about trapezoids. Trapezoids, of course, have four angles. Two angles that are adjacent to the same base of the trapezoid are called base angles. So angle D and angle C are a pair of base angles of this trapezoid. Similarly, angle A and angle B are base angles of this trapezoid. We would not say that angle A and angle D are a pair of base angles because they're not adjacent to the same base. Angle A, of course, is adjacent to the base AB, whereas angle D is adjacent to the base DC. In general, in a trapezoid, none of the angles or sides are necessarily congruent to each other. In some special types of trapezoids, some of the angles or sides may be congruent, but if we just know a shape is a trapezoid, we can't conclude that any of the angles or sides are congruent. However, one thing we do know about the angles of a trapezoid, which is pretty cool, is if we add two angles that are on the same leg of the trapezoid, they will add up to 180 degrees. So for this trapezoid, the measure of angle A plus the measure of angle D is equal to 180 degrees. Same thing for angles B and C. Again, if we add the measures of two angles in a trapezoid that are adjacent to the same leg of the trapezoid, they add up to 180 degrees. Now, why do you think that is the case? It's because, you may remember, if we have a pair of parallel lines that are cut by a transversal, then consecutive internal angles on the same side of that transversal will be supplementary. They'll add to 180 degrees. So since these two angles are consecutive internal angles on the same side of a transversal, cutting a pair of parallel lines, they are supplementary. Same thing for these angles over here. Thus, of course, since these two angles add to 180 degrees, and these two angles add to 180 degrees, we know that the total angle sum of a trapezoid is 360 degrees. One last thing we'll mention is the height of the trapezoid. How do you think we measure the height of a trapezoid? All we have to do is draw a perpendicular from one base down to the other base. So draw a perpendicular from one base 
down to the other base. Since this is a perpendicular, of course, this is a right angle, and so is this. Then, the height of the trapezoid is the length of this line segment. And you could draw this anywhere between the two bases. We could have put it over here. It just has to be a perpendicular from one base to the other base. And the height of the trapezoid will be used in calculating its area. But we'll talk more about that, as well as some other properties and special types of trapezoids in another lesson. Now, just a quick recap. Remember that a trapezoid is a quadrilateral with exactly one pair of parallel sides if we're using what's called the exclusive definition of trapezoids. This definition excludes parallelograms from being trapezoids because they have two pairs of parallel sides. Those two parallel sides in a trapezoid are called the bases, and two angles that are adjacent to the same base are called base angles. The other two sides of the trapezoid that are not parallel to each other are called the legs. The sum of two angles that are on the same leg of the trapezoid is 180 degrees, and the height of the trapezoid is the perpendicular distance between the two bases. So if we draw a perpendicular, from one base to the other, the length of that segment is the height of the trapezoid. So I hope this video helped you understand a bit about trapezoids. Let me know in the comments if you have any questions, need anything clarified, or have any other video requests. Thank you very much for watching, I'll see you next time, and be sure to subscribe for the swankiest math lessons on the internet. I could have had more success if I retired my romancing I could have had more love if I dropped material